We're here today with a local artist, jeweler, and miner, Paul Bredo. Paul, tell us uh, a little bit about yourself and what you do. Well, uh, my wife and I both like to go out to mines that have still have public access in the in this area and uh, into the west and see what they have to find. Um, in particular, I like finding stuff that can be made into something else, into jewelry of some sort. Um, and so we do that. We bring it home, get it. Uh, figure out what we can do with it and try to turn it into something a little more pretty than it was. Awesome. So was there a single inspiration or how did you get started? Um, probably since I was a kid, you know, I was one of those kids that picked things up all the time and was always being told by my mom to hurry up because they're waiting for me because I'm picking stuff up. And That went away through my teen and 20 years, but once I got in my 30s and 40s, some friends and I kind of got back into it. and. Uh, it's just evolved from picking up agates on the beach to petrified wood in the middle of the desert where you'd never think you'd find anything resembling wood. And uh, like I said, we found the sunstones and just about anything that you can collect, we'll go out and, and see what we can find. Awesome. Now, what is your favorite part of uh, doing all of this? Um, probably twofold. One is that I get to see a lot of pretty you get, you get to go to a lot of places that normally you would just drive by on the freeway and would never give a second glance to um, throughout the, the western United States, so that's a lot of fun. I enjoy that. And then being able to find something that's just a little rock like this and being able to transform it into something, eventually turn it into a piece of jewelry that somebody wears to go to work every day and it's one of their favorite pieces. That's what I get the, the best out of when I know somebody actually likes to wear what, what I've put together. Awesome. Have you taken classes or are you self-taught in, in doing all of this? Um, I've taken a few classes here and there on just different things, but I kind of, it's just kind of evolved as I learn a little bit here and uh, my wife helps me with a lot of the design stuff, you know, put these two together, put these two together. Uh, so it's probably evolved. I've taken a few classes at the rock shop here and wire wrapping and stuff like that. So I absorb, you know, anything I can learn, <clears throat> excuse me, anything I can learn from anybody else, I'm all for that. So. Awesome. One last question, what is your favorite stone? Well, sunstones in particular, and then I have a few. Um, I didn't bring my one favorite today. I have in particular, but I would just say sunstones in general are by far. Right. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, come by and see them. Awesome. That's it.